Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a boomerang style clip out of your footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. So why would you want to do this in Premiere Pro rather than just using your phone or the app on Instagram is it'll allow you the flexibility to pick the exact moment you want to loop out of any clip or footage and the creative possibilities to layer effects on top of that and use some of the advanced editing options in a software like Premiere. So before we begin this tutorial, make sure you leave a like on it below if you guys are enjoying these and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. Also, if you're not following me on social media, we're almost at 10,000 on Instagram. So go check it out. I love to connect with you guys on there and live stream and all that fun stuff. So looking at our timeline, I've got a nice clip of this carousel and keep in mind that the more interesting and creative you can get with the shot that you plan to turn into a boomerang, the cooler your final result is gonna look. So you can kind of play around with moving the timeline back and forth to see what would look cool. But when we actually want to get down to the effect, we're going to take about a one to two second clip that we want to loop and basically cut that out. So I'm going to press Q to trim off the left end here. And then I'll move my timeline over about one and a half seconds. And I'll press W and that's the ripple trim tool to delete the other half. You can always press C on your keyboard to activate the chop tool and just make your chops and delete the others. But now that I have this short clip, I want to loop it end to end. So what I'll do is I'll hold Alt or Option and just click and drag it over. And that'll just create a duplication or a copy. You can always right click copy and paste. So now I have the two clips playing back to back, but it doesn't loop end to end because it just skips a beat there. So what we can do to make these ends meet exactly is on the second clip, right click, go to speed and duration, and reverse the speed. So now you have one clip playing and then it reverses itself. So if you want, you can copy and paste this over a couple times, make sure everything meets at the end. So you can have about a 10 second final boomerang, which if you're planning to put this on Instagram, you don't have to worry about taking it into Photoshop after you export and turning it into a GIF because Instagram just loops videos anyway. So your video is going to loop perfectly since the way we just made them meet end to end. But that's the very basic version of creating a boomerang. What if we wanted to add a little bit more touch and velocity to it to give it a real nice back and forth momentum? What I'll do is I'll go back to my starting point. So I just have my first clip. And now let's play around with some of the effects in Premiere like time remapping and speed ramping. So I'll right click on my clip. I'll go to show clip keyframes and I'll turn on time remapping and speed. What this is going to do is allow me to make the clip gradually get faster or slower. And keep in mind that if you shot in a higher frame rate, you can play around with slower motions more smoothly. But I'll hold command on my keyboard and you'll see the pointer will turn into an arrow with a plus and I can click and create a dot or a keyframe. You can also click this button right here to add a keyframe anywhere on this line. So now that I've split the line into two, I can pull the second half of the line upwards. So I can make this go 400% speed. And then I can pull this keyframe apart so that it gradually ramps from 100% speed to 400% speed. And if you want, you can pull the clip ends to give yourself some more room as stretching the time is going to shorten or extend the clip. So I'm going to extend that just a bit so we have a bit more information to work with. And now I've got another starting point, one and a half seconds, but you can see it gets faster at the end. You could even layer whatever else effects you want on there if you want to get a bit more advanced, any blurs or use keyframes and whatnot. And now we're going to just take the same effect, duplicate it, and then right click on the speed and duration and check reverse speed. So now you see this ramp actually visually plays back to back, how it starts slow, fast, and then slow. And what that's going to do is give us a nice momentum and slinky type of feel that can look cooler than your default. So you can see it goes fast, slow, but it kind of rides that speed ramp and has a more interesting look. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what you thought in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my new videos. And follow me on social media at Justin Odisho to stay up to date with me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.